Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Transformer discussion freaking thing going on. Now, I normally don't do a lot of these, which I'm going to start doing some because I really have some, you know, decent ideas that I would like to, you know, you know, express or something, you know, or talk about. Uh, so this kind of going to be like a discussion, you know, story time with Deluxe kind of thing going on. So if you read the title. Um, has the thrill of the hunt gone or is it, you know, is it dead or something, whatever? Um, what that means, if you can't figure it out is, you know, the thrill of, you know, going to look for, you know, Transformers, you know, Marvel Legends, anything, G.I. Joe, He-Man, whatever you collect, you know, that's fine. Um, but yeah, now that we have so many online stores now, you know, you got, you know, the Chosen Prime, uh, Terry's TF Clubs, Show Z, BBTS, TF Source, CMD, uh, Robot Kingdom, uh, I'm probably missing Amazon, uh, now has stuff, you know, there's so many, you know, online stores now that, you know, do you miss or do you even have a thrill or, you know, even go hunting for Transformers or anything like that at other stores, you know, like Walmart and all that stuff and, uh, Target, Ollie's, all that good stuff, you know, anything that sells action figures. So, you know, it just kind of lost that, you know. I'm not gonna lie, like two weeks ago, I went to Walmart. I was going to see some family, and um, I went to a Walmart in uh, Searcy, Arkansas. I'm in Arkansas, and um, you know, we have several Walmarts and Targets and everything. So, we went to this one Walmart in Searcy that they have, and I actually found Armada Megatron from Legacy Evolution. And I'm not gonna lie, I got a little giddy, you know, I was excited, you know, because when I first went in there, they had tons of Blitzwings and Galvatrons, and I didn't think anything was gonna be there, but as I was walking out. Uh, on the top shelf, I saw two more, uh, you know, of that, you know, box size. So I grabbed one of them. It was Blitzway. I was like, uh, so I grabbed the other one and uh, it was Armada Megatron. And I'm not going to lie. It brought me back, you know, you know, as a kid and, you know, as, you know, during the, you know, around the mid 2000s, um, I got a little giddy and I was excited. I found something, you know, most of the time it's, you know, they're really stacked, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, they on the shelves are really stacked really well now, you know, or, you know, uh, have, uh, inventory, you know, and everything. Uh, Walmart, especially, you know, you got the Earth Spark, you got Rise of the Beast, Evolution, uh, you know, Legacy Evolution, you got Studio Series. So they're, you know, well stocked, but it's stuff that I already had that I've already got from, you know, online. But I actually found this Armada Megatron. I was really excited and I got a little, you know, you know a little giddy and everything. So what I'm trying to say is, do you still get, you know, excited? Like, you know, back in the, you know, early 2000, mid 2000 with Armada, Energon, Cybertron, you had the Alternator line. I remember going looking for, you know, I lived in Northeast Arkansas, a town called Jonesboro. And uh, we were, Memphis was about eh, 45 to an hour away. So I remember uh, we, we uh, a couple of my friends and everything, or a couple, you know, we had a couple of friends uh, with uh, an ex-girlfriend and we would go to like you know Jonesboro, the area around that area. Then we would drive to Memphis, uh, which was forty-five minutes. We'd go look at you know st you know Target, Walmart, all those, and we'd go look for Transformers, you know, because you know the online presence wasn't there yet. And you know, and I remember just finding alternators. I know it's, you know, but you know they're they're fine. I like alternators; they're pretty cool. I have I think all of them uh, to be honest. And um, when you found them, you know, you were excited. You know, I was excited. You were going through boxes. You know, remember, you know, Walmart would, you know, bring out their, you know, their stock and everything. They had boxes in the middle of the aisle. And, you know, people would go through them. Yeah, I was supposed to, but, you know, like, whatever. Uh, most of the time they didn't care. You know, as long as, they, you know, you just took them and, you know, didn't leave a mess and everything. But, um, yeah, finding that stuff was awesome. You know, you got a little thrill of it. Now it's just, you know, you do a pre-order. You order it online. You wait for it. And it gets here, but I mean, I still get excited when I get, get a new package, you know, from, you know, Show Z, Terry's or whatever, you know, Chosen Prime, whoever you order from, I still get excited. But when I get it, I'm ready for another package to come in. I'm, 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 and that's the addiction right there. That's the plastic, you know, crack we got going on. Uh, once I get something from, you know, the mail and everything, UPS or whatever you want to FedEx, um, I get, you know, a little excited. You know, I got a new Transformer, a new, you know, action figure, and um, I'm you know, I'm ready for the next one. Um, but I still go hunting for the, uh, I might, and I'm going to start, I, I did toy hunts, uh, a couple years ago. Uh, I'm going to try to start back doing toy hunts and everything. So, but you know, I still get a little thrill out of finding something. It's hard uh, to find something, you know, all the time. 
because like I said, it is stocked well, but it's just it's stuff that I already have. You know, all the Rise of the Beast stuff I have, I'm just mainly looking for the mainline uh, Optimus Primal, which I, for some reason it came out for a little while and now disappeared, but I think it's coming back or something. I don't know. I'd love to find that. Um, you know, and there's just everything I that, that I find at the store I've already had because, you know, on online it's, you know, been out there for, you know, a couple months, you know, before, you know, Walmart or Target or somebody gets it or anything like that. So I still, you know, like I said, I, when I found out Armada Megatron, I still was, you know, I still got a little giddy and I was excited, you know, and I, I you know, was really, you know, wanted to find something, but you know, most of the time now it's just, I, you know, when I go in there, it's just the same thing. I'm just like, uh, you know, now Target has the, you know, the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line. Uh, they're kind of exclusive to uh, Target. Um, I think they got the Studio Series Rise of the uh, Beast Optimus Prime. I'm looking for him. And they got Toll Line, too, as well. And uh, I think they got a three-pack of the Rise of the Beast with Bumblebee, Air Razor, and Mirage, I think. So, going to be looking for that. Uh, but you can order, you can always go on, you know, Target.com. I guess you can order them if they're available and everything. And this, you know, with G.I. Joe, you know, you know, all their stuff's coming out. You know, I'm, I stopped collecting Joes, but they got a lot of stuff coming out as well. And I, don't, I hardly see any Joes. I think I saw Dusty, I think, uh, the new line, I think, or the new wave. Um, I saw him at Target. Uh, he was the only one there. But it's it's a, a very slim pickings for G.I. Joe, which they've had an issue. But they've gotten better. With the Cobra Island, they were, you know, definitely had a lot of issues with getting stuff out to people. But uh, now it's more available. But, you know, most of the stuff now is just pre-orders, you know, on Amazon, you know, uh, Hasbro Pulse, you know, and everything. So, you know, it's just... It's hard to find stuff when you're going out and looking at everything. But, you know, my question, not really a question, is do you, you know, still have the thrill of the hunt when you go out looking for stuff? Do you still go out and look for stuff? Or are you just like, ah, I can just, you know, go online and, you know, find it myself and everything. But, yeah, I thought it'd be pretty cool to do something like that. A little story time. Like I said, you know, did you go, you know, hunting back in the day, you know, mid-2000s, early 2000s, mid-2000s uh, to now? Uh, do you ever, you know, did you go hunting for Transformers back then? And did you have a good time? And did it bring you back to when you was, you you know, when you was a child and all that stuff, and you always found, you know, you go down to toe aisle, oh, mommy, daddy, look what I got, you know, everything. You know, now you don't see that very often because kids don't play with, you know, toys anymore. It's, you know, us grown adults. Uh, so, yeah, I thought it'd be pretty cool. But, yeah, uh, yeah, hit me up some uh, like, share, friends, and care bear. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And hit me up some comments. I would love to read your comments about this and see if you still have the thrill of the hunt, if you still do that, or if you just, you know, order everything online. Um, going to conventions, you know, that's a pretty cool stuff. You know, you can find, you know, new stuff there too as well. So I didn't even mention that, but yeah, do you like to go into conventions to find your, you know, action figures or transform or anything like that? But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next, uh, Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself, man. Hail some freaking Transformers and hail you as well, man. Good night, folks.